fans, do you want to win your share of $100,000? Simply enter the houseofboxing.com fight night prediction challenge. Compete with boxing fans around the world. Simply head over to houseofboxing.com and sign up now. This is Lewis Up for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store and William Hill. Delighted to be joined with Raven Chapman. We're here December 2nd after quite a quick turnaround. Although you know, getting cut in the last fight hasn't been too much of a, a quick turnaround. Back out December 2nd. Must be delighted with that. Yeah, very happy. Glad to be able to get out before Christmas. Cuts killed, uh, healed up nicely. Um, just wasn't allowed to spar on it for a good few weeks, um, but still been ticking over in the gym. So yeah, back to it now. I had my first spar since the fight um, last week or the week before. Um, everything's fine. So yeah, really looking forward to this one. Feeling really fresh as well after a little bit of uh, time to just relax, recover as well. Um, definitely needed. I think sometimes as fighters we can overtrain, um, and I think I definitely overtrained a bit. Uh, coming into that last fight, so it was nice just to recover and feel fresh again for this fight camp. What was that as a learning curve? Your last fight, obviously getting car, um, having to deal, and even after the fight, dealing with it and like trying to deal with having not having to spar and think, doing things differently from what you usually would like. Yeah, it was. Do you know, I think that that last fight was a really good one, just to just to be able to come through that. You know, the heat, the cut, tough opponent. Um, and it's nights like that that I need to get me through other tough nights with tougher opponents. Um, getting through the cut, learning how to deal with it and just just doing what I do while having that on the night. Um, and then, yeah, afterwards, just making sure I'm looking after it well so that it heals up as perfectly as it can be so I can get back to training, get back to sparring as quick as possible. But also without going in too quickly. So I think the turnaround for the next fight was actually perfect because, I mean, I think I didn't spar for about six weeks. So it was perfect to let it heal, everything's good. And yeah, now we're ready to go. Not, for, not sparring for six weeks. Are you much that you like to spar much? Was it a hard thing? Yeah, it was hard. I was constantly saying to Stu, I was like, oh, shall we, shall we get some sparring in? This person's asked fine, that person's asked fine. I was like, no, not yet. I want to give it as long as possible. While we haven't got a date, we don't need to get sparring or anything yet. Just keep it off because the, the last thing we want is for it to open up again uh, and then it take even longer to heal. So, yeah, I think listening to Stu was probably a good idea. Um, and now here we are. We've got the date, 2nd December, and I'm ready to go. Everything feels good. Absolutely. We'll go on to 2nd of December. You're back out. Um, we did have a little chat off camera. What's potential move down to Super Bantamweight, would you hope? Yeah, there's, there's potential, you know, opportunities. Uh, I think in the women's game, when they present themselves, you kind of have to take them. Uh, I've never done that way before. I've never sort of, last time I was that way, it's probably about 10 years ago. Um, and if I change weight, I always thought I'd go up a weight, not down. I was always very adamant from the beginning, I'd never do super bantam. Um, but like I say, things change, opportunities arrive, and if the opportunity can happen, then yeah, I'll take it. Um, it doesn't mean I necessarily want to stay at Super Bantam. It's just obviously in the featherweights at the moment, everything's very tied up and it's hard to get that next step. So I want to keep progressing. I want to get harder fights, tougher fights. Um, but I also don't just want to be keeping on defending my belt for the next year, you know. I want to be pushing on to, to those world honours. So if I can be closer to those steps by changing weight, then I'll do that. And then with, say, a world title at a different weight, I have more clout to come back down to Feather and contend for the Feather Tech world, world title. So, you know, it's just one of those things. With moving down a weight, you said it's something that you've not done in, in 10 years or so. Is there a bit of a worry uh, going down? Like, have you made sure that scientifically, you know, I feel good at this weight? Yeah, so we've, you know, done all the composition, done the bod pod, uh, made sure I can safely make the weight. Um, as it stands, I can safely make it as long as I cut down my muscle mass. Um, I'll be able to do it, so that just means training in camp would be completely different. My diet in camp will be different. Um, been working with a nutritionist, which, you know, 
will be needed if I'm going down because like I say it's been um, yeah no chocolate for me basically for the whole of camp so I feel sorry for anyone that crosses my path while I'm making that way to be honest but you know it's just the things you've got to do um, and like I say I, I've been doing featherweight comfortably now I've got it down to a T where I'm not struggling and you see other fighters you know making weight and struggling and doing it it's just one of those things that part and parcel of boxing you talked about using a nutritionist there it's something that it sounds like every boxer would want to do it but most boxers don't really do it so have you had much of a difference in having a nutritionist where you know this might you might find all the benefit where you know making weight safely actually feeling just because it's one making weight is one thing but feeling strong in the weight is a completely different thing yeah 100 percent. so i've been working with jack for just over a week now first week just sort of getting to know me my eating habits everything else and now we're changing it adapting it to what he is and i can see the difference already um because I think my last diet, as much as I was good and I was, I'd had a nutritionist before and I just knew what I was doing for that weight now, it got a bit stale and I needed to change it up. So that's exactly what we're doing. And like I say, time will tell when it comes to the 2nd of December if I go down to Super Bantam and I look like a skeleton on, our, on the scales. But um, so far, so good. I'm enjoying what I'm eating. I'm being a bit more thoughtful with it and I enjoy having a plan to follow. It makes it a lot easier, it takes the pressure off a camp when you're working hard as well. So, so yeah, I think it's definitely needed for this camp. Absolutely, definitely shout out to Jack, mate, because uh, he does a good job and he, he definitely love, uh, love you saying that. Um, when you look at Super Bantam, there's always, you know, there's a, there's a clear, we've got Super Bantam weight in this Super Bantam world champion in our own country, Nelly Scottney. Um, obviously, you know, you've got promotional differences there, but you could have one eye on her potentially. Yeah, potentially. Like me and Ellie are good friends. We've sparred hundreds of rounds, me and Ellie, and we have the kind of spa that you'd pay money to watch anyway. Um, I think Ellie's such a great fighter. I'd love to, you know, fight Ellie at the same time as when then we're mates. We'll see how I do at Super Bantam. I might go down and absolutely love it there and want to stay uh, and go for those titles, or I might go down and think, do you know what, I don't feel good here. We'll, we'll stay at Feather and maybe go up instead. Um, but yeah, the, this is why you try it out and I've got the opportunity to try it and potentially for something bigger than I would have at Feather. So why not do it? Um, there's loads of fights in Super Bantam, in Feather and in Super Feather at the moment. Lots of scope for fights there and yeah, it's exciting. I'm excited about the opportunities. Absolutely, definitely. Raven, as always, always a pleasure to be catch up with you. And uh, yeah, all the best for December 2nd. Good to see you back out there and uh, good to see you keeping active. Thank you for that. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Cheers.